a major reversal, Shep. And we did just minutes ago get that actual video in uh, our inboxes. So we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, but this is a huge reversal from just yesterday when officials were saying that releasing this video could compromise the investigation. However, today, after the AP dropped that second batch of videos, we are hearing from officials that uh, they are releasing all of it, in part because they say the AP release doesn't include the full contents of the evidence. Uh, one thing that we did see in that AP release of the video today, however, uh, is a moment where Ronald Green is trying to lift himself up and turn over on his side. At one point, an officer even stepping on him to keep him on his stomach. Uh, take a listen to this video and a reminder that it is disturbing. Don't you turn over. All right. Don't you turn over. You lay, that, lay on your belly. Lay on your belly. Yes, sir. Uh, and we also, NBC has now obtained a copy of the official autopsy report, which shows that Ronald Green did have high levels of cocaine and alcohol in his system. It also shows that he sustained uh, a broken breastbone, a to torn aorta, and also a head injury, although it is unclear whether that came from the car chase or the interaction with uh, state police. And I do want to quote from that autopsy report what it has listed as as the cause of death, quote, cocaine-induced agitated delirium complicated by motor vehicle collision, physical struggle, inflicted head injury, and restraint. Uh, but one thing that autopsy report does not include is the manner of death, whether they are calling that a, a homicide, accidental, or undetermined. Uh, but the family tonight continuing to call this a cover-up and say that Ronald Green was murdered. Shep? Priscilla Thompson live, Monroe, Louisiana. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.